Hello and welcome to another Arbor Network's Customer Solution Brief. My name is Tom Benkowski, Director of Product Marketing for Arbor Networks. And today we're going to be talking to a customer about the recent transition from Cisco Guard to Peakful SPTMS. One thing to make note of is that this solution brief will remain anonymous, and that is due to the fact that the customer will be talking about their confidential network and security configuration. So without further ado, let's get started. Martin, why don't you introduce yourself, tell us a little bit about what you do and your company. Well, my name is Martin and um, I'm working for a Middle European National Research and Education Network. And I'm one of the engineering, well, kind of network engineering guys in our small team. And I'm also responsible for security-related things as, for example, DDoS protection and DDoS mitigation. Our core business is providing internet access to universities, schools, ministries, uh, dormitories, and so on. And uh, we add some additional services to our portfolio, which are, for example, um, server certificates, domain name services. We offer IP addresses for our customers. Well, we have about 150 customers right now which consists of more than thousands of, of end users within universities and schools. Um, our network basically consists of, I would say, about 15 core devices, uh, which are almost Cisco devices. Our core network is uh, fully capable of 10 gig um, with dark virus all through the country. And we've got a, a, a routing core in our capital which consists mainly of three devices which do all the routing and all the access to um, the neighbor countries, the European research network, and our commercial upstream. Okay. Now, you've been a Cisco Guard customer for a number of years. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the challenges you were facing with the Guard products and what prompted you to start looking at the Arbor People SP TMS product? Basically, we we are using the Cisco Guard for about, I would say, almost eight or nine years. And uh, the problem that we have with Cisco Guard is, um, well, first problem, the product is out of life. Um, the second problem is the limited capability of the Cisco Guard with uh, 1.2 gigabits per second, which is uh, too less for us. And... Uh, the problem with uh, using the product is that uh, with using Peakflow and Cisco Guard, we have two separate user interfaces with their own separate rules and own separate way to use it. And we have to we have to train our our staff members on two different uh, graphical user interfaces, and that makes things very complicated. And it lasts quite long to to edit and and start a useful new mitigation. Okay, now what led you to choose the Arbor Networks Peakful SP and TMS products? Um, well, we we heard about the new TMS box from Arbor, which is capable of ten gigabits, and we thought that if we have got a ten gigabits backbone network we need a 10 gigabit mitigation device to, to just be able to, to mitigate the, the whole bandwidth if it's, if it's necessary. And uh, we, we tested the Arbor TMS product and it, uh, let's say, fulfills all our needs with some modifications. Um, but it, it works for us and, and that's the main reason why we choose the, the Arbor TMS product. And for our audience's benefit, could you tell us exactly what Peakflow SP products you own? We are we are using TMS three thousand one hundred, and using um, Peakflow SP CP device five thousand five hundred. Okay, now tell us a little bit about your transition from Cisco Guard to Peakflow SP TMS. Um, we used the Cisco Guard um, in in let's say two, two different ways. Uh, one way is we had some, some permanent protection of some uh, uh, important uh, service and IP addresses, for example, DNS services, and we protected them all of the time. Uh, 
Um, the second way is we just, uh, in case we need it, uh, started separate mitigations if one of our customers got attacked. To, to transfer the, the on-demand mitigations from Cisco Guard to Arbor TMS wasn't really a problem because we just ended uh, starting them on Cisco Guard and, and began to start them on TMS box. With the, the permanent protected services, we just used a very, very short timetable just to move, to move all the configuration and to move um, these uh, protected service from Cisco Guard to TMS box which uh, took place, I think, in about one week. And we just kind of transferred the, the ongoing mitigations from one to another box. It was a, a quite simple transition with uh, not really big organizational problems, let's say. So it sounds like the transition was pretty straightforward. Um, were there any hurdles or is there any words of advice that you'd like to bring up to the listeners? I would say there are some technical things just to to mention before you you do the transition because uh, um, the Cisco Guard was able to do some some routing itself, which uh, makes it easy to on ramp packets again into your network. That wasn't that easy with uh, Arbor TMS box because the box itself doesn't do any routing and doesn't speak any routing protocols. So we had to implement a separate routing instance just for on-ramping traffic again, which only uses uh, the TMS box to, to find the correct, let's say, next hop for all the traffic on-ramped on, on the network. Okay, so you're saying that you had to make some fairly minor network configuration changes? Yes, yes. Um, the, problem, the problem that we had is We've got the core routing infrastructure, which is mainly a triangle with three devices. And most of our customers are connected to two different devices with their primary and backup access. And so we are not able to configure a static next hub address for on-ramp traffic because we just can't configure the, the primary way and if uh, the primary link is down, we black hole the traffic because we cannot change the static configuration to the backup way. So we just needed a separate routing protocol which learns all the customer prefixes and the TMS box forwards packets into this routing instance, and this routing instance makes next up decisions for the TMS box. Okay, now that you've deployed the products, can you tell me a little bit about some of the benefits you've received? I see two benefits. One benefit is we are able to protect our whole 10 gig core backbone network with a 10 gig mitigation device, which is very important. And um, the second advantage is one user interface to learn, and it only needs four or five clicks to, to start the rights mitigation for an uprising alarm. And that's really simple and it's a very fast way to mitigate within, I, th I would say, 10 to 15 seconds. Martin, I'm curious, can you tell me a little bit about the number of attacks you receive on a daily or a weekly basis and, and potentially what the size of those attacks are? I would say we are dealing with a number of about well, let's say eight to ten attacks per month, and that um, starts from uh, mitigations with 150 megabit up to, I think the largest one was a 2.4 gigabit attack, and that's quite a lot, and uh, too much for a Cisco guard. And what attack vector were they using in that 2.4 gig attack? When I can remember correctly, it was a classical TCP SYN flood attack. Which, as you know, there are a number of countermeasures in TMS. Some are specifically designed to stop TCP uh, SYN flood attacks. So was it easy to mitigate? Yeah, it was. And I can remember a second attack, which uh, was on a certain URL on an existing web server. And it was really simple to filter out the specific URL 
with all these different countermeasures to to install on the TMS box. That was really simple and very effective. Okay, how about some comments regarding working with Arbor Networks, the company? Um, the one thing I, I really like working with Arbor is that with any technical problems, uh, there is a solution within hours or days, depending on the technical problem. Um, the, the technical guys are very responsive and the Arbor SOC um, responds to open or new tickets within hours and, and that's very, um, that makes it very easy for us because I know if I have a new problem, I just open a ticket and get a response uh, within a work day. And finally, now that you've had a chance to utilize the Arbor products, are there any other Arbor products that you would consider in the future? Uh, with our current network design, we can and protect all our services with our existing Arbor hardware, with the one CP device and the one TMS device. Um, when we plan to upgrade our core network up to 40 gig, I think the, the 40 gig TMS solution will be the next product for us to, to buy in, in the Arbor product series. But that's uh, not a current problem, let's say. Well, that about wraps it up. Martin, I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank oh, you're you. welcome, Tom. You're welcome. And for more information regarding any of the products we spoke about today, please visit our website at www.arbornetworks.com. On behalf of Arbor Networks and myself, I'd like to thank you for listening. Have a great day.